Hi guys, this is Shoujin. Um, today in this video, I just want to talk about my client. Um, remember I told you guys that I'm working with <coughs> a client who has a mid-level of dementia and um, she is a Korean lady um, and uh, she stays with her family and the family is really rich. Remember, I told you guys that. Um, and she's really nice and sweet. Um, I mean, she does have her moments when she gets really irritated or impatient. Um, I don't know if you, if you guys know about dementia so much, but when you have dementia, you become like a child more and more and you forget things and you become impatient. Um, and the frequency will be increasing over time as it gets worse right um she is taking medication for it um and yeah so i'm working with my client as a caregiver um on saturday and sundays from eight to five i work nine hours a day so basically my week is full of work right because i have preschool job so i work from 8.45 now until 5.30 with 50 and you know, 45 minutes lunch break. So I work 8 hours a day from Monday to Friday. And then I have work as a caregiver, which I work 9 hours a day, um, Saturday and Sunday. So I work 7 days a week, nonstop. So I really need to take care of my health. Okay, I don't want to go sideways. Um, so let's talk about my client. So remember I told you guys my client's family is really rich because um, her daughter, she has like two daughters and two of them are both really smart and they got the scholarships for academically super good, for being academically super good. And um, the daughter that she lives with, um, she is a top um, cheap doctor who manages and overcharges uh um over overseeing all the departments so he she is like the i don't know head of the department dean of the department i think she's something like that um in her hospital and her hospital is also well known um the hospital has name value to it also so anyway so she makes lots of money um, but more surprising thing is that she is the only one who makes money in the family. Um, because they have like four children and, um, the children need to have some care, right? Growing up, they need to have some care because the mom is able to make lots of money, but she's busy with work, right? Um, as a doctor, um, as a dean of the department. Um, so dad is taking care of the household, you know, house chores or taking care of the children, pick up, drop up, or anything like grocery related. But the kids are also grown up enough to take care of themselves, but they do need guardian um, from here and there. Um, so that's how the house works. Uh, the house economic works. Mom makes the money that takes care of the family. Um, and mom is also taking care of the um, her mom, which is my client, uh, by paying me. Um, so I care, my care uh, is for my client. So basically, um, so I just want to talk about my client. Um, she today, we, because, you know, like every time on Saturdays, it's our less busier day because Sundays she has to attend two churches for her to keep moving forward with like socializing and practicing that um it's really good for dementia um that she doesn't lose that socialization part so she attends two churches on Sundays so it's really busy so I don't really have so much time alone with her to talk about things it's not necessarily I talk about things like intentionally, but just like when we talk about things and she just opens up and talking about her life and what she thinks of things in life and 
it's really interesting for me to hear about it you know i just i'm curious genuinely about how she thinks of things you know um and she just talks about it and i listen and i add my comment to here and there um so today she talked about um many things but basically what stood out to me was she said because we were watching like open house on tv such a random thing you know um and they were like in los angeles there's like super gorgeous houses like probably around like beverly hills area like there's a view is like i think it's beverly hills or there's like hollywood mountain you know there's a hollywood mountain um so the houses were so gorgeous one of the houses were so gorgeous like i wish i could live there you know <laughs> in this life can i <laughs> um it may be possible who knows right um uh so we were looking at the houses and say like this house is so rich you look at the view you know she said um that's why you have to um meet a smart guy she said and she said being a smart guy means she has money right i said and then she said yeah um if a guy is smart then he's able to think creative and he's able to use his imagination to make money that's what she said that stood out to me because of the perspective that i got from my mentor ice gang because my mentor always told talked about being creative and imagination right it's exactly what he said that she said i don't know some things about her i think she does have perspectives on life and things in general and she also talked about because we went to a mall today and uh we ate lunch there and uh she talked about how this type of big brand name mall uh should be encouraged and supported by the government as a country um and people should do more of these things because you know how this uh make employment and the economy work uh economy goes around because of this big company right um and I added, you know, people, I added it to her, like, people buy things. And um, that's right. That's why, right. And she said, yeah, but that also too. But, like, you know, because of this big mall here, all the people who are working, the employment is also um, uh, created because of this giant mall right and uh it's helping the economy this is sort of what she said um so i was surprised that she um i don't know some because i'm um maybe it's just me that i'm trying to see what rich mindset is like I mean, she's just an old lady and she herself didn't have like full education. I think she hasn't gone to college and she's pretty old, you know. So back then, Korean women are not necessarily supported to go to college either. So it doesn't make a whole difference in whether she did higher education or not. Um, very few people would at that time in her era. Um, but um, she didn't have like you know super sophisticated educated educated education she's not a sophisticated educated woman so to say um, but her daughters are really rich and I think um, the daughters by meaning that they're rich but um, something about them makes it different so they were able to make money I mean what um, in spite of the fact that they're smart and genius and they were studious and they were able to make uh, lots of things happen and they were able to get scholarships and they were able to go to, I don't know, doctor, 
um, medical school or whatnot. Um, but besides all those, um, like, um, uh, academic part um, that they are blessed or they worked hard for, beside that fact, I think there's something about them that the mindset is different. And I just wanted to know, um, since I had the opportunity, I have the opportunity to work with them, um, work with my client and able to see how the house is like, how the family is like over there. You know what I mean? The atmosphere, how they... Just a subtle different things, subtle different aura, subtle different things. It's hard to point out. It's only when you care you would notice it where you want to believe. I don't know. That's just me. So I I just felt like, yeah, I think she, this, my client, Korean lady, she also has something different perspective than most other people and that's how her daughters also have more open perspectives different perspectives we're, we're able to have the perspectives to pursue their dreams and to make it true with their blessed brain you know what I mean so it was just really interesting for me to hear about her story today and hear about her perspective because these two things um, my mentor um, talked about you know the first was what um, you know businesses should be encouraged people should do more businesses right um, businesses should be more encouraged that's what my mentor said um and also he said a person should have creative side and use that creativity creativity and imagination to make money um and that just really stood out to me those two things that she mentioned to me were really stood out to were really um, impressive to me because of me able to me being able to confirm what my mentor said. You know what I mean, um, so I'm just really grateful for the opportunity that I'm able to confirm it. Um, and besides that, I mean, there's. I don't know. I'm still um, watching and uh, to see if there's anything else. I'm still looking to see if there's anything subtle difference that I can find in rich people. I can only know since I stay time uh, since I stay there and spending time in their house, you know, or you know, so. Um, it's hard to explain, but just feel a little different. I can feel a little difference. Just a little small little things that... And also, for example, you know, how poor families, they always, like, talk about love and care and patience. All those... um, All those... uh, What's it called? How do I say? I think... Poor families, um, they always care about that uh, love, care, those concepts. Um, but this family may not really. To a degree, it looks like monotone. It's like, are you really happy? <laughs> Sometimes I think that, are you really happy? Um uh, but nevertheless, I thought there's something to learn from them because they value their own time. Um, they do, um, they do go to like church activities and such. So they have like family time and I'm sure they have family times when I'm not there. They probably have lots of family time, who knows, but 
as much as they have family time, uh, they value their family time. I feel that, and I see that they value their own time too. Um, whether the children or the parents. Um, and, you know, valuing your own time is also something my mentor uh, talked to us about, right? Value your time. Your time is valuable. Um, so, I don't know. Um, somebody may say, you need to have more bonding time with your family, blah, 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 blah. But I think since they make lots of money and they're able to support um, this whole house and they're able to support her mom um, and they don't have to suffer from money, I think there's something, there are many things that I can learn from them. You know what I mean? My mentor is always saying, don't listen to poor friends, poor families around you. <laughs> always go look at the people that you want to be like. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it was so... Um, I was genuinely really curious and intrigued to see their pattern in the family. And I want to learn more and more. And then I want to affirm and confirm what I learned from my mentor. And this will be... Like, I didn't plan. It's unintentional, but it's a gain. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't intentional. Like, I didn't plan to have this learning experience from this family. But it was unintentional, but it just came through. And I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to check these out and confirm what my mentor was saying and see how this aligns or it would align with how my mentor would say. You know what I mean? So that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Hope that helps a little bit with somebody or resonates with somebody or interesting to somebody. Any of them, if you're in any of these category, I would be really happy. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.